Uh, All right, say hello to YouTube because we are racing and. I can't get in. God damn it! <laughs> that's that's not a good my, start. My my game crashes whenever I try to connect. My 5M crashes. Uh, did you try uh, launching the game with uh, the integrated video card? Um, integrate. Okay, I'm in. Uh, right, right okay. click and uh, and uh, start with integrated video card. Anyway, we are racing the uh, mixed class of Sports B and Sports Classics A because they are on pace. So let's see what we can do with this lovely car that is the Hizoku Custom. And that guy is already stuck on a tree, good damn it. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, that, isn't the Hizoku Custom a super team? It is, but it's the Sports B class. Oh, so Sports B, yeah. Oh, that's... <laughs> we just avoided like five people crashing there. Oh, yeah, no one no. has no well, crashed me. You're super slow. I'm in an FX20, what do you expect? FX20 is, is fast, what do you expect? Slow. The FX20 is not slow. Thank you for well, the, the boost. The acceleration isn't the best compared, well, now I have no compared to the uh, ADF. Yeah. And a little overtake on the outside, almost, maybe? Uh oh I don't know. Hi. Uh, thanks, Norman. Yes, it is. I was on two wheels, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Issues are happening behind us, it looks like. Norman. But this is not the map I was thinking it is. <laughs> I took the Apex. Okay, the Hizo Custom is holding up itself pretty well. I'm kind of satisfied with how it's driving. Definitely not like the normal Hizoku because that thing is an atrocious driving experience. Ten it's seconds. basically like, a, as, I, as Darius said, a go-kart that has way too much power. Those and, are fun. And no grip whatsoever. Okay, now I know this map. And we are at 4th place currently, but I feel like we could do better. Uh, that was a weird hitbox for that tree. <sighs> the trees are uh, weird, yes. I don't think this guy in front of me actually knows the track because he doesn't act like it, but... I mostly remember it from oh, just the uh, some random prop just popped into the render distance and it was weird. Oh, and he messed up. Good. <laughs> I'll take that position back, that's podium for me. I will. Right. Yeah. Oh. Got a lot and of drag. I'll take that position. Thank you very much for that. Okay, we're catching up to second place, it looks like, with an Sentinel SG4, which was recently nerfed, so it should not be OP. <laughs> uh, he probably doesn't know that. He probably doesn't know that, but probably just likes the car oh. as it is. And I'm gonna go flying. And I went flying almost. God damn it. That was a bad transition there, and the guy just took out back the fourth place. That's not good. Please don't take me out, please don't take me out. He's gonna take me out. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> he just stabbed me so much that I could actually lose the traction. Okay, well, still got this third place back, I guess. But yeah, you need to be careful around this guy. The Ardent is pretty good. I think it's good in everything except top speed, maybe. But even the there, it's not too bad. Uh, the Ardent is top speed. Weak, you mean? Mm, like, no. It's I mean, weak it, in terms of top speed, you mean? It used to be the top speed car of the retro supers. There, there I don't are. think it's a top speed car, it's like a traction car. It has very, very high grip. I mean, the other one is pretty good in the class, so it's probably like strong in every sense a bit, so... I wouldn't be surprised if it was kind of OP in certain situations like this. And I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining about my Hizoku Custom, it's holding itself really well. It's so nice to drive and the sound of it is just great. I like this um, kind of muffled beast sound. This Ardent is catching up. Oh, that's the that's a G, best GTS that's behind me. That's weird. I thought that guy was naffing off. Okay, they are fighting with each other. That's good for me. Not destruction. Oh, by the way, Will, if you catch that uh, username guy, then be yeah. careful around him. He clearly has been racing his week. Okay. He hasn't read the racing rules yet. Smook was called out. Oh. Then he drives into the bag of me where I'm waiting. 
<laughs> nice job. Not your own fault. I'm not waiting for that. I was not even on the racing line. I was right up next to a wall. Okay, I don't know if I'm catching up to a Sentinel that G4 doesn't look like it, but I'm at least holding my own against the top 4 and top 5. I'm starting to think that the hit wasn't the hitbox on the tree, but rather the FX20. Smooke is just waiting for his F630. Well, uh, I'm getting the money, so so and so. It would be easy enough to look into uh, what is the collision box on the uh, F620. I mean, collision no, box fix is that. less easy than uh, like handling changes, so... Yeah. I mean, if but... you do anything to the F620, then you're welcome to change the damage value or whatever it's called. So oh, it the, the damage value actually I think is, is the uh, handling files. There is like a, a cr uh, collision damage multiplier thing or something along those lines that's in the handling files. And I think the vanilla cars all have it on 1 and the non-vanilla cars like the DLC cars uh, have it on 0 0.7. That's why they break uh, harder. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> so like since the fix is like a day 1 car, it kind of breaks easier. Because yeah, of this. the same with the Cabinets there and... And the, uh, uh, I think the LSGR H8 is one of the biggest uh, yes. examples because that just breaks its feels like after two crashes and it's gone. Yeah, and Grim doesn't know what he's talking about. I asked if he could get armor back just up to 20% and he just said, well, they all spawn with the 100% armor. I don't think they actually spawn with armor because some people dislike that, armor on their cars. That is one of the things that it spawns without Grim. It has never spawned with armor. Not a new personal best. Yeah, this car is really nice. Like, I didn't realize it was so good to drive. Maybe because I was uh, testing the Tuner's class and Hizoku was there, and Hizoku custom is completely different in terms of driving. It's actually reliable. <laughs> Doesn't want to kill you at every single corner. Yeah, I don't think I'm catching the Sentinel SG4. He seems to be uh... gaining on me. Oh, I crashed. You mean crashed in the game or like crashed in the, on, the, on the track? I hit a hole in the... Okay, so not on the game, on the track. Okay, good. Yeah, on the track. There are certain tracks where a crash in the game may lead to a crash of the game. Really? Like, That's uh... Weird. There are some tracks where you, if you look back, your game will crash because... I that was. Someone's going backwards. The game wow. couldn't take that sort of uh, uh, unclean racing that somebody was going backwards and it just crashed. I mean, there is a track that if you just look behind you, then your game will crash. Yeah, that's what the track? one where crashing we into a tree. Yeah, we on that same track. <laughs> <laughs> on that same <laughs> track, sometimes a physical crash in the game can lead to a crash of the game. Yeah, that's weird. We were told to not look back, or else our game would crash. Yeah. Can you see the camera look back? <laughs> and I guess your your car crashing causes some extra video memory usage, or something along those this lines. This marker is causing issues. Milkman, can you please stop? Jesus, what the what the hell is this guy's deal? Um, Dorma is a living example of what we're talking about. <laughs> he just starts breaking in front of me on, on a straight. What the heck? He's in a quantum electric car, it, it has no top speed as it is, like why would you break in it? Which car is in? A milkman, I don't know. Um, he's one of the back markers, like the, the bottom guy. I think he's lagging as oh, hell as Raiden. well. It's a Raiden, yes. It's a Raiden, yes. I almost Finally, hit the apex I, there. I solved my controller issues. We should have a Raiden GT car. Why do we need a Raiden GT car? Th there's not even like a real life variant of that. Yeah, there is. There um, actually is. A Tesla car? Yes. It's a one main championship. Is it still electric though? Yes. It's a, it's a Tesla Model S. An electric GT car? Are you fucking me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How does that even work? Like, electric engines cannot keep up with like brace engines. It's, again, it is a one, one main championship yeah. only for GT Teslas. Oh, well, okay, that, that makes it different. It, it cannot compete like normal GT cars. 
yet. They could maybe open it up to other electric manufacturers in yeah. the future. Maybe Toyota and stuff, yes. If there was, yeah, uh, imagine, Nissan. Imagine a BMW there, i8 GT3. There is the um, Nismo Leaf, which That's has been hybrid, leaking for though. a while. That's true. It's not a it's not a full electric. So it wouldn't wouldn't make sense in the same in same class, uh, yeah. Same class, yeah. But imagine a multi class event with like the That'd higher be class fun. being hybrid and the lower class being electric. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah. I went to a, an electric um, motorcycle race. Uh, oh, motorcycle. Seca. It was on the same weekend um, as a uh, leader bike, uh, you know, super bike yeah. uh, race. And so they were alternating rounds of racing. Oh, nice. It, it was crazy, the, the difference in sound. Yeah. You know, you could tell which, which ones were uh, racing, even if you were walking between viewing spots. Yeah, of course. Like, um... <laughs> Not myself the lead singer, lead singer of my band loves to do uh, motocross, and he test rode uh, an electric motocross bike. He said it was very weird. Oh, uh, which one was that? The Redshift? I don't know. Um, I don't really know much about motorbikes. Cars are more okay. my thing. I, I didn't even yeah. ask him, to be honest. Okay. 